What's up, guys? Ko's back. I know, right? Been gone forever. Um, so, yeah, let's... Uh, I was logging into the game this morning, and I see this battle journey, so I figured I could, you know, check it out and record it for the YouTubes as I'm logging into the game in the background. So yeah, let's uh, get into it. And let's waste no time, because this is probably going to be kind of long. Get ready to visit, revisit 2021 as you uncover your personal battle journey. Okay. 2,000 battles with a 51% win rate. Pain. Obviously, Czechoslovakia is my most played. Because <laughs> of... Uh, well, I probably played about 4,000 battles in there. Those were my best. What? XP? What? That doesn't make sense. Best win rate was in Tank Destroyers 2021. I had over half of my battles were in heavy tanks. Rarest metal was the Nichols metal. Cool. Lucky map, that's where you win the most fjords, really? Most played vehicles, obviously. <laughs> obviously the VZ because I was field mar uh, I grinded it and then I did the field mods and then I tried to get the one of them. Total damage of 3.5 million over the year. It's not bad. 1 million spotting damage and 1.4k blocked. I mean, some people are going to be like just ridiculous. 70% hits, 71% pens. 3,000 vehicles spotted and 2,000 battles. Not bad. Most destroyed vehicles, Leo Char and Progetto 65. That's weird. I would not think the Progetto 65 would have been on there. I can see the Leo and the Char, though. It's two of the most popular tanks in the game. 1,800 vehicles destroyed and 2,000 battles is garbage. I only got 20 fires. Are you kidding me? 42 ram kills. Sounds about right. Ooh. Phew. Yeah, well, that's changing it's rapidly. I only had a 47% win rate on this map. This was the best map that they had in the recon mission. Frontline. Max credits earned in the battle of 500,000. Yep. I only played like maybe 10, 20 games in there. Yep, garbage in rank battles in season one. Well, I didn't finish it either. I mean, I could have. Dude, that was so much fun. I love the Waffenfeger game mode. I'd love to them to bring that back. I hated, I hated Miriam or Mirny so much. It was just so annoying because. If you random queued, you had like almost no chance of winning. So yeah, well there it is. So if you want, if you guys want to check out your battle journey for 2021, uh, there is a clicker or like a, a link on the launcher when you log into the game. So just don't press play immediately going into the game, and then you uh, you can just you know collect your rewards right there. How do I get out of this? Okay. So, that was my battle journey. Just wanted to, you know, show everybody, I guess. I don't know. It only took four minutes. This is going to be a really short video, but... Oh, well. Uh, I'll turn this into an update video. Fuck it. Um, let's get out of that. And, uh... Oh, it comes up when you're in-game, too. So, what am I... <laughs> what have I been doing for the last, what, two or three weeks? Um, well, as you can see, uh, 
I'm in a different clan now. For those of you unfamiliar with the NA clan, this is, um, or the NA clans, this is, um, the third team of a top 10 clan, top five clan in the last tank season, uh, called Relic, and then there's Rel 2, and then Rel A is the third team. Uh, it is a ladder system clan, so you can enter into Rel A. And if they deem you worthy of moving up to the next and then the next tier of clan, then they'll do that. Normally, the Rel 2 guys stay in Rel 2. They don't really all the, well, they, they can go up. Some of them can, but uh, the, the skill gap between Rel 2 and, and main team is ridiculous. Like, it's quite a bit different. Uh, the requirements are kind of kind of big jump also there's a big jump between each of the three clans in this uh, gaming community so um, don't worry you're still gonna see some Mushu and uh, some of the triple s guys on the stream some every once in a while uh, Still plan on playing Rocket League with Muju and Niver on occasion. Uh, still friends with them. It's not like we had a big falling out. I just wanted to move to a uh, slightly more competitive clan for the next uh, tank season, possibly next two tank seasons, depending on how this tank season goes. Um, And who knows, if I start working my way up the ladder, <laughs> might stay longer. Who knows? Uh, I don't know my full plan for how long I'm going to be here. But I'm planning to stay for at least, I don't know, a while. <laughs> it's making me a much better player already. And playing with better players obviously makes you a better player. <laughs> It's not like the guys in Triple S were, were garbage players or anything like that. It's just you're moving from a top 100 to a top 50 clan. It's a massive leap up in, in competition between the clans, honestly. And it's a challenge. And the best thing about challenges is you learn a lot from it. So I feel like this was a, not a bad move from my side. And... Uh, Hopefully I can help some of my friends from Triple S uh, learn, get better at everything. I still want to help them out as much as possible because they are still my friends and I want them to do as well as they can. But for me, right now, main goal is two marks of excellence on this bad boy right here, the Centurion 7-1. And yesterday ended horribly. <laughs> So, um, right now, I am actually sitting about 100 total combined damage away from the mark, uh, benchmark for the mark of excellence on this tank, the second mark. Um, after I get two marks, then I'll check on the third and see if I feel like I can do that. Um, but, overall... I'm having a ton of fun playing this tank with the 210 millimeters of Heshpin. Uh, with 600 alpha, smacking shit for 550 and up in a tier 9 medium is insane. Uh, the only problem with this tank is 268 millimeters of pin doesn't always go super far. Uh, when you're fighting against certain tanks, and it is certain tanks, like, it's not... It's not most tanks. It's just certain tanks you you have struggles with, like E threes, um, E one hundreds, um, mouses, Type fives, stuff like that. Type fours. Uh, most tanks you don't really have a problem with with two sixty eight. Um, just it's just certain vehicles. Um, but yeah. So also, 
uh, I did the on track and I finished the on track on live stream yesterday picked up the Leo one and uh, yeah so the next line that I'm gonna grind down obviously because I don't have it and it is on track is the 2684 um, I feel like it'll it is probably the only tank destroyer that could possibly fit my play style. I just hate tank destroyers. But, I mean, it's got good armor. It's got a fairly decent gun traverse, which is something I struggle with on tank destroyers. Uh, 12, 12. It's, it's pretty decent, actually. Uh, it's got good mobility. It's, I mean, it's an assault tank destroyer, I and mean, that's... Uh, this is a tank type that I wanted to try out for a while, but I mean it does see some use in some situations in clan wars and stuff, so I feel like it's kind of the last real meta tank I need to get other than the Sturve and maybe the T100 LT for clan wars anyway, and I don't play RD, so <laughs> yeah, no, I mean Badger's can be used for like defensive stuff um, nobody really uses 50 bees anymore <laughs> uh, i guess the wz5a is also one but yeah just wanted to update at the end of this video tell everybody what i've been working on recently where i've been what i've been doing what i've been trying to get laid out and stuff like that so yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.